The AFC's Pro Bowl kicker from a year ago, Jason Myers, will get us started. And off we go from Seattle. This will be fielded at the 6. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. My 20. My 54. Here we go, here we go. Seven. On first down, Garoppolo. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, here we go, here we go. go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Easy it's, easy work and it's, it's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that here play. Go, here we go, here we go. Let's go. Tight door, tight door, tight door. On second down now. Yeah. It's Coleman, and he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. They don't want it, fellas. They Typically, don't we think it's the strong safeties it. that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Here we go. 180. Check back, 54. Watch it, Hunt. Give me that ball, Give me that Hunt. Give me that ball. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. Got him in. And he finds Sanders. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A pretty good-looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, remember, Tevin Coleman was in the two-headed backfield in Atlanta during his four years there, along with Devontae Freeman. Now he joins a crowded backfield in San Francisco. But in Atlanta, he played under offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan, and then, of course, Shanahan becomes a 49er head coach, and he made it a point to go out and snag his former running back. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Matt Breida, 38 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7-0 lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 
And they'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Yeah, They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Wilson throwing quickly out to Lockett. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A carry now for Lynch. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play what? action and hit them over the top. What? 54. What we got? What we got? What we got? From the 39, Wilson. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Wilson, operating from the gun. He'll find Metcalf. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 33. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play in the football. They'll run on first down. Lynch working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Throwing on second and three. Wilson, pitch and catch to Wilson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, it's Lynch. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. Let's go, let's bring it. From the pistol, they run with Lynch. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. But when you go from second and four to third and three... That just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Wilson now to throw on third down. He can run for it, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter.
Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Extra point up and through by Myers, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out on the field now. Here come the 49ers. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you score Return points, up. it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, a run with Breida. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they're going to have a third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, Amy! Single, single, slot, slot. Hey, you're on an island over there. You're on an island. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He's going to... And got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just we before the 35. 33 yards that time. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big Here plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Snap comes in one. Garoppolo. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. First down, San Francisco. The pickup, 14 yards. Samuel, the 36 overall pick in last year's draft. Played his college ball at South Carolina. Really good senior campaign. 62 catches, 882 yards, and also threw in 11 touchdowns for good measure. Garoppolo now. Already the 100 yards passing in this first quarter. It's first. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bobby Wagner, the former second rounder out of Utah State with a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Here we go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is born. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And his kick is absolutely perfect. 
And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So chalk that down as an eight play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. On second down, it's Lynch. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. And the Seahawks on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. Now it's Wilson. He may try and run for this. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. They'll run on first down. Lynch. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Push him back. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. He's going to get this out to Marshawn Lynch. And the Seahawks on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and nine. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone on, for a touchback. 
The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I here like go, where your go. head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Go, Trying to go, sit on a go, lead go. and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And that's complete to Sanders. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Here we go. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Now Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. CD with that incompletion, let's talk AFC playoff picture. I think you and I agree that if you put together any sort of power rankings, we'd put Baltimore number one, certainly in the AFC. But you look ahead to the playoffs getting started on January 4th. Who do you see as their main competitor for that Lamar Hunt trophy? Well, tradition and us not wanting to be wrong dictates that we say New England next, and rightly so because of the number of Lombardi trophies they've won, how they've always played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is the prime contenders right now for Baltimore, Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes has got it together and the defense is playing better, and Buffalo really showed me something when they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh on a Sunday night. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fake. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away and look at this, this is a good one. James now to return. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. On, and the Niners go. will go on offense first and 10. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field go, position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very go, happy. Go, go. The first down hey. run got five. Here's second and five. Garoppolo after the fake give to Breda. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down Let's to go, the 35-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. 
Back in the first quarter, you said it. They need to avoid the big play, but he just got a big one right there. You can't relax. You know, we talked about it in the first quarter, but as the game progresses, still opportunities, and he took advantage of one there. Now it's Breda. And a short gain down to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Garoppolo. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Mike, here we go. Garoppolo, hey. 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. There's Garoppolo to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Now gold for the extra point. It's good to make it kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away this is taken at his four then he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line the Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field they trail by 10 17 7 as they come up on a first and 10 Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 27. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. A 10th carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So after the run by Lynch, here's another first and 10. Now they try the right side here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, That's providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. And here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Give him three on the play, and it's a second down. Right there. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Back to the ground. Lynch. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And Myers able to knock it through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it go. comes out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator go, and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Here's a second and two now from the 33. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike Spot To throw, it's Garoppolo. Got the connection here to board. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 43. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. So go, second down, Ready? still 10 yards to go. Ball target, on the 43. Target, target. Garoppolo again. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. 
Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took oh, their yeah. shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked Let's down go. at about Do the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Right, 20. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Yeah, and he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! Bend it! Bend it! Six guys! And Sanders has got it complete. He's at the 50. The 30, past the 20, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. 
tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Wilson, that's caught by Hollister. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Hey, we got time right, time right. Following the penalty, Lynch. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. 380. They'll keep pounding here with Lynch. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. From the 45 on second down, Wilson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. A gain there of 21 yards. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They go play action with Wilson. And an alley to run. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And finally down at the 9-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Play action. Now Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Throwing on second and long. Wilson, he'll try and run it. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, 
they still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They go play action now. Wilson, he can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Myers' kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? Here we go. How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now, those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again? They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Here we go, here we go. 180! Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! 50, 50. Hey, watch the slant. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get, all right, 300? That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. That's what I'm talking about. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now second and seven from the 23. Play action. It's Wilson. Rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. With that incompletion, you know, Charles, one of the big storylines in the final few weeks of the season lies in the AFC South. Tennessee and Houston battling back and forth. Houston won round one, week 15, a victory in Nashville. But which of those two teams do you think has the potential to go deeper in the playoffs? Well, Tennessee just lost at home to Houston, and now we'll have to go on the road to play them again in week 17. So I would say... On the surface, you would think Houston. They have the quarterback as well in Deshaun Watson that scares everyone. But I'm picking Tennessee as a team that could go deeper because of their defense. That's really a top five defense on any given Sunday. Their ability to rush the passer, their ability to play the ball in the air. I like that Tennessee team. And I think Ryan Tannehill, the switch to him at quarterback has really energized that club. Now it's Wilson. It's caught, lock it. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the gain there. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. First down, the run with Lynch. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Easy work. It's easy work. And we it's know that old again. expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll run again with Lynch. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And that'll make this an eight-point game. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. 
Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it here the go, same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breida. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. To throw is Garoppolo. On the screen, this is Coleman. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. This is something that we know that they like to do, incorporating him out of the backfield into their passing attack. And it's not just a check down option either. This is a full part of their offense, and they rely on the fact that they can get the ball in his hands. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Breida, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, here we go, here we go. that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. <laughs> and as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, go, and it's go, on EA Sports. Second and five now. Garoppolo, he hits his target. It's the tight end, Toilolo. And he'll go down at the 28. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. On second down, it's Coleman. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the dump off. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Got his target, Samuel. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs here, 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 now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. On first down, here's Breida. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. 
Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Garoppolo gives to Breda. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. Here we go, here we go. But I often think the second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through, and that will bump the lead up to 11. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. 23 yards, the final tally. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Wilson now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Throwing is Wilson. Short pass to the tight end, Hollister. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, Wilson. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards the pickup there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Check pass, check pass. On second down, Lynch. 
And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. So out comes the field goal team once more. This is a 26-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot go, of it. Go, uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? It might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that. And that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets them to third and three now. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here go, Here's here where this crowd can really help make things go. difficult. It's go. third and three. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after them, and they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. This is Lynch on the draw. Bad he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I think a lot of people are a little bit surprised there that they ran the draw after that successful pass play previously, but the thought process had to be maybe we can catch them rushing the passer and hit something big with the running play. I got you. On second and 11 now, Wilson. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down go. with it. Here we go. Here we go. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. D Ford in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Wilson trying to urge his guys to go faster and get set at the line. Back to throw. He's going to get this out to Marshawn Lynch. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. First down now, but the clock continues to move. 54, right there, right there. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Marshawn Lynch, but it'll be second and goal. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now Lynch, he's got it on the draw. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then, that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost them. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll run for it. Lynch, and he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown. And now a two-point conversion. And we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two. But now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. Wilson to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but 
They're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And it's the 49ers who recover it, and that ought to just about do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Big go, play go. coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. <laughs> On third down, a run from Breida. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Here we go, here Ball we go, up to go. the 35 hey. now as they come up on first and 10. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Seattle.